The videotape that we'll be watching at this time indicates the natural frequency of a propeller blade. In mode one of propeller operation, the propeller blade will be bending one time. If you watch the tip of the blade, it will begin to go into resonance. At this point, the propeller blade is bending one time. To find the point at which the blade is bending, what we must do is sprinkle sawdust across the blade. And as you will note, that it is at this point where the blade is bending. If a nick or scratch should be present at this point, it is possible to have complete blade separation. It's for this reason that we ask for adequate propeller blade care. In mode two of propeller operation, the propeller blade will be bending at two different locations. You will note again that the tip will go into resonance. We will again use sawdust to try and find the points at which the blade is bending. This being mode two of operation, the propeller blade will be bending at two different locations. You will also note that the propeller blade is bending in different locations than it did during mode one of operation. The nodal points being approximately 12 inches from the blade shank and 10 inches from the blade tip. In mode one, we had the nodal point approximately 15 inches from the blade tip. We'll now use a strobe light and repeat mode one of the propeller operation. With the strobe light at the tip of the blade, you will note that the propeller blade is now once again going into resonance. This is the natural frequency of the propeller blade and is not overacted or over indicated. Again, in mode one of operation, the propeller blade is bending at one place. You will note that if a nick was present along the leading edge of this propeller blade, it would be quite possible for the blade to separate. The natural frequencies being produced and transmitted into the propeller would cause separation if a nick was present on the leading edge. Under mode two of operation, again, using the strobe light, you will note that the propeller blade is bending in two different positions. The strobe light in this instance is on the very tip. It will be moved around to the leading edge. And you will be able to see that the propeller blade is bending in two different locations. It is possible, as the RPM is increased, for a third and fourth nodal point to appear on the propeller blade. Using a pointer, you can see the propeller blade bending at its first location and once again at its second location. Again, the point to stress is that if a nick or scratch appears at any of these locations, separation of the propeller blade is possible. As demonstrated in our lab sequence, 
You can see by looking at this propeller blade, a nick on the leading edge of the blade has caused this blade to separate. If this nick had been removed properly, the blade probably still would be in service. 